Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, Mohan rides at the rate of 18 km per hour but stops for 6 minutes at the end of every 7 km. Find the time taken for covering distance of 90 km. So what is the given question? Mohan is riding at the rate of 18 km per hour. So his speed is 18 km per hour. But he stops for 6 minutes at the rate at the end of every 7th kilometer. So at the end of every 7th kilometer, he stops for 6 minutes. So if that is the case, what is the time taken for covering a distance of 90 km? So that's the given question. His speed is given and his there is additional information regarding time. So the exact time is not given. If exact time was given, we can easily find out by doing time uh, time is equal to distance by speed but the exact time is not given what is the information given every seventh kilometer he will be stopping for six minutes now how to do this question okay so first we can do what is the time taken to cover 90 kilometer by the direct formula suppose he is not stopping he is just covering the 90 kilometer as such so if that was the case what would have been the time taken? Time taken will be equal to 90 km divided by 18 km per hour is equal to 5 hours. So, 5 hours is his, is his traveling time. So, his travel time will be equal to he is covering a total distance of 90 km and when he is moving, he is moving at the speed of 18 km per hour. So simply by doing distance by time, 90 km divided by 18 km per hour, you will be getting 5 hours. So 5 hours is the travel time. Now in addition to travel, what he is doing? He is stopping for 6 minutes at the end of every 7th km. So how many 7 km are there in 90 km? That is what first you have to find out. So 90 by 7, what is 90 by 7? 12, 12 into 7 is equal to 84. So after 84, the next 7th kilometer won't, will not be there because he will be completing 90 kilometer. So 12, 7 kilometers are there. At the end of every 7th kilometer, he is stopping. So 12 times he will be stopping, So 12, not 12 kilometers, sorry, 12 times. So 12 times he will be stopping for how many minutes? 6 minutes. He will be stopping for 6 minutes. So we can find out the stop time. So stop time is equal to 12, 7 kilometers are there. At the end of every 7th kilometer he is stopping. So it means 12 times he will be stopping for 6 minutes. So 12 into 6 minutes will be his total stop time which is equal to 72 minutes. So 72 minutes is equal to how many hours? 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So, 72 minutes will give us 1 hour and 12 minutes. So, what will be his total time? His total time will be the travel time plus stop time. His travel time is equal to 5 hours. His stop time is equal to 1 hour 12 minutes. So, his total time taken for covering the distance of 90 kilometer will be equal to 6 hours. 12 minutes. So, this will be the total time taken. The second question, Arun is walking at a speed of 10 km per hour. After every kilometer, he takes a rest for 5 minutes. How much time will he take to cover a distance of 5 km? The same kind of question, stopping in between. So, what is the speed of Arun? Arun is walking at a speed of 10 km per hour. And what he is taking? Every kilometer. After every kilometer, he will be taking a rest of 5 minutes. So, he will be stopping or he will be resting for 5 minutes. Then what is the given question? How much time is required to cover a distance of 5 kilometer? So, understood the question? He is walking at a speed of 10 kilometer per hour. But he is not walking throughout. After every kilometer, every kilometer means after one kilometer. After each one kilometer, he will be taking rest for five minutes. If that is the case, what will be the total time taken for Arun to cover the distance of five kilometer? 
so how many kilometers are there in 5 kilometer it is given after every kilometer so 4 kilometers and like 4 times 4 times he has to take rest so fifth time what is happening he will be completing the 5 kilometer so he can take as much rest as needed so that is not required to be included in the calculation once the travel is done that should not be included so 4 times so after the end of every kilometer after first 1 kilometer he will be taking rest for 5 minutes then after 2 kilometer after 3 kilometer and after 4 kilometer after that he will be completing the journey of 5 kilometers so 4 times he will be taking rest so stopping time will be 4 times okay, so first let's uh, find out the stop time since I have written the stopping times we can find out the stop time so stop time will be equal to 4 times he will be doing and 5 minutes each so 4 into 5 is equal to so 20 minutes will be his total stop time and what will be his travel time stop time or rest time and his travel time will be equal to his total distance is 5 kilometer and whenever he is uh, traveling he will be doing it with the speed of 10 kilometers per hour so half hour so half hour is equal to 30 minutes so what will be his total time taken in order to cover the distance of 5 kilometer the total time will be equal to travel time plus stop time so which will be equal to 50 minutes so for these kind of questions you have to find out the travel time separately and you have to find out the stop time so first you have to find out the number of times the person is stopping and the number the amount of time taken for each stop so he is stopping for 5 minutes and he is stopping for 4 times so the stop time will be equal to 4 into 5 is equal to 20 minutes so that is your plan you have to find out the stop time you have to find out the travel time travel time is equal to distance by speed so adding both you will be determining the total time taken for covering the required distance thank you for watching